Hey, welcome. It's a great morning. And our verse for this week has been John 10.10. 10. I come, the thief comes to kill, to steal, and destroy. But I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. And I, before I get started, I just want to ask if you've been enjoying these morning Bible meditations, that you will click subscribe and also like. And if you're seeing on Facebook, click follow and like. And we want to ask you also share it with three people that you think might enjoy listening to these morning Bible meditations. And what we're asking you to do is not just listen, but take time to memorize the verses. After you listen to this, say it four or five times afterwards and learn these verses. And what it does, it helps you to have in your heart so you can follow God and also so you can share it with your friends and family. Okay? So we're going to go on and continue to talk about what John 10.10 10 means. And I'm going to give you a personal explanation for me. This is an anchor verse for me. Uh, some people ask, well, why did you become a Christian? And I say, God gives my life meaning. God gives me meaning. Uh, when I was young, I was, I had some issues, some inner issues, some inner turmoils. Uh, I might have been suffering from like teenage, slight depression or something like that. I was probably even a little bit borderline suicidal at the time. And things, I just went to a dark place in my life at about 12, 13 years old, even a little bit earlier. And it's hard to believe kids go through that, but I was going through it. And when I went and rededicated my life back to God, because I was a Christian already, I knew God there. I felt God tugging at my heart. And I finally went back and rededicated my life back to God. And decided to start following him again. Everything changed. My life became way better. I I um I started following him, getting more active in church. Uh, the joy came back into my heart. The peace came back into my heart. The restlessness I had disappeared. Everything was better. But the only times I started feeling that restlessness is when I would walk away from my walk with God again or get distracted or start doing things that God was not directed to do. And then that restlessness would come back and I realized, hey, I need to get down and start praying and get back to basis again. But Jesus Christ comes to give you abundant, a meaningful or purposeful life. He gave me purpose in ministry and also purpose in my life and wanted to make a difference and help people out. He gave me purpose. And we want you to have that, that peace, that joy, that love that we experience too in your life. But you can only have it by having Jesus Christ inside your life. And yes, you get things too, but the Christian life is not focused on materialism and possessions. It's focused on having a positive relationship with God. And as we do that, God puts us in the right path and it makes our life a lot better. We make better decisions, which leads us to better Jaws, controlling our finances better, uh, tr treating our family better, so we have a better family life, and everything just gets better because of that. Now, there are some resistance because some people don't like the fact that you're a Christian. Satan doesn't like the fact that you're a Christian, so he still tries to come in and invade. But as long as we stay close to Christ, that abundant life still remains. So if you don't know Jesus Christ, go to our descriptions, click on go, how to go to heaven on the, that description, and go to our website and ask Jesus Christ to come to your heart. If you are a Christian, we have to follow Christian, your Christianity the way that you should be, and follow Jesus Christ, rededicate your life back to him and start following again. Say, God, please forgive me for things I've done. Today I make a commitment to start following you and mean it. Ask for forgiveness, you said, and start following Jesus Christ again the way you should be. You guys have a great day.